Peace. G'day everyone. If you've watched some of the previous videos on our channel, you've probably seen that I like making some weird and wonderful flying things. Well today I'm back with a couple more that you can make with really simple things around the house. Let's check out what you'll need. The materials for these ones are really simple. One piece of paper will be enough to make both of them. We need two straws, a ruler, pencil, scissors and some tape. The first flyer we're going to make is a hoop glider. So for this we need two different size hoops. To make these I'm going to take one strip lengthways off the paper and one strip widthways off the paper. I'm going to make each strip about three centimetres wide. So using your ruler, pencil and scissors you need to cut a three centimetre strip lengthways and a three centimetre strip widthways. To secure my two loops, I'm simply going to roll them around and grab a piece of tape and tape them into a ring. As you can see, I've now got two rings of different sizes. To turn these loops into a plane, I'm going to stick them to my straw, which is going to work as the body of the plane. I'm going to stick one loop at each end using a little bit of my tape and we'll have our hoop glider. And there we have my hoop glider ready to fly. Before we test this out, we're going to try our second one, which is going to be a paper rocket. To make our paper rocket, I'm going to use the same piece of leftover paper. This time, I'm going to cut a strip that's 10 centimetres wide. This time, I'm going to roll it around my straw. So it's a reasonably tight fit, but not absolutely in a death grip. I'm simply going to secure that with a little piece of tape along the side. You want the paper to be able to slide it off the straw fairly easily. The next step is we want to seal this end. So I'm just going to fold it over and again with a little piece of tape stick it down. Now a rocket will work just like this with this little piece of paper, but I'm going to try and make it a little bit fancier by giving it some wings using my leftover piece of paper. To make my wings symmetrical, I'm going to cut a piece of paper out, fold it in half and then cut my shape from that. Then I'm going to secure that to the bottom of my rocket with another piece of tape. I don't know if these wings are going to help or hurt, but that's half the fun of experimentation. We're going to find out. All that's left to do now is to try out our two constructions. For our hoop glider, it's simply a matter of throwing it just like a regular aeroplane. <laughs> Mine's got a bit of a lean to the side, but it flows okay. For the paper rocket, we simply insert it back on the straw. And then we're going to use our breath to fly the rocket. Both of those work pretty well. Play around with these designs, challenge someone else, see who can make a rocket that can fly the furthest, or a hoop glider that can glide the furthest. Play around with different size hoops, different distances apart, maybe three hoops is better than two. There's lots of experimentation that you can do with this. Now the science behind both of these is similar to what we talked about in previous videos. Airplanes experience four different forces. They've got the force of thrust, making them go forward. With our hoop glider, that's us throwing it. With the rocket, our breath is providing the thrust. They experience drag, which is the air resistance. Now our rocket's just muscling into it. Our hoop glider's trying to cut its way through and glide along. They're both experiencing gravity, which is trying to pull them down. And they're experiencing lift. Now my little rocket didn't get much lift from those wings, but if you shoot it at the right direction, it might fly up a little bit. And the hoop glider, the two hoops, are working to overcome gravity by providing a little bit of lift and getting it up in the air. Hope you had fun seeing some more weird and wonderful flying things and I'll see you next time. <laughs>